Our next speaker is Dr. Marietta Alieta, and she is the program director for the USAID funded farmer to farmer program, uh, South, South, Southern Africa program that's implemented by CMA. Uh, Marietta is uh, based in Zambia, and she are an agronomist by training, Marietta, if I remember correctly. And uh, you spent your whole career in ag development and research, uh, of which the, uh, 12 years have been in, in West Africa. So Marietta is uh, going to give us an overview of the Farmer to Farmer program. So Marietta, welcome to ASCS. Thank you very much and good morning, everyone. And thank you very much for being here and for your interest in volunteering with the Farmer to Farmer program and with the Soybean Innovation Lab. Farmer to Farmer program is a USAID funded program that is 35 years old this year. The program has two goals. First, to increase economic growth and food security through agricultural development. And second, people to people diplomacy. Cultivating new frontiers in agriculture, or CNFA, is an NGO based in Washington, D.C., for which I and my team work. And CNFA has been implementing farmer to farmer programs for almost 30 years and is currently implementing the Southern Africa farmer to farmer program, which is working in six countries, including in Malawi. Farmer to farmer is an expert volunteer program. Many of our volunteers have decades of experience in their fields. In our focal countries, the volunteers work with host organizations, which can be agribusinesses, farmer organizations, universities, schools, ministries, and other organizations. Most of the assignments are two to four weeks. Importantly, Farmer to Farmer program is a demand-driven program. And therefore, the host organization needs to demand the support of the volunteer. Although our assignments are usually all in person, currently during COVID, we are only conducting virtual assignments. The process for volunteer assignments starts from the host identification, after which we work with the host to develop a scope of work and collect baseline data. We then recruit the volunteer and prepare the volunteer for the assignments. And that includes logistics, transportation, translation, and others. And our field offices then welcome the volunteer and support the volunteer during the assignment, periodically checking in with them. As the assignment wraps up, there's a debrief with the volunteer and the host in the country, and also with the volunteer in the US. After the volunteer assignment, we continue to monitor the host and we stay in touch with the volunteer. And many of our volunteers also continue to work with the host even after the assignment. Uh, next slide, please. We are very excited about this collaboration between AOCS, the Soybean Innovation Lab, and the Farmer to Farmer program. We will start this collaboration in Malawi, but we hope we can extend it to other countries. Focus of the collaboration will be large-scale oilseed processing, which can have significant impacts on nutrition and incomes of Malawians, including for the small-scale farmers who sell their products to the oilseed industry. What is new about this collaboration is that it allows us to bring in Soybean Innovation Lab and the depth of its expertise in the work of identification of host organization and the development of the scopes of work. Technical input that is needed to ensure that the volunteer efforts are well targeted and focusing on key constraints and opportunities. And naturally, this collaboration allows us to recruit from among the AOCS members and thereby bring in their expertise to bear on critical issues in Malawi's oilseed industry. Although we have not had many volunteers working in large-scale processing up to now, we have been fortunate to have had some great volunteers, such as Bill Hitz, who is pictured here and who will be talking later, 
And uh, continuing in this vein, we really look forward to having the AOCS members as volunteers. We are always happy to answer any questions and connect you with volunteer, experience, volunteer opportunities with the program. Thank you very much.